Welcome back. This is number 19 on the Norton Project. Today I'm going to start cleaning up a few things while I'm waiting for her to get the frame back. I'm going to start with this old chain guard. I got a feeling that this will probably clean up. If it doesn't, well, we'll worry about that then. But uh, there's a few little tricks I'm going to need to do. Like there's a hole here. I don't know how that got in there, whether the chain is too loose, but there's a dent there too, and maybe it just pushed down that section. But I've got to figure out a way of, uh, of covering that hole, because you can see this part of the, uh, the chain guard in there. So I got a few little tricks to, to hide that hole anyways, and uh, we'll see how the rest of it comes up. Meanwhile, I gotta clean that old nasty grease junk out of the inside of there. That's always a whole lot of fun. But that's, I wanna use this because it's an unusual chain guard design for these commandos. Like most of the ones you see are gonna look like the ones that's over here on this bike. That's the original chain guard to that one, and this one actually came off the production line before the one I'm working on right now. And all the uh, the later models have that type of chain guard on it, but like I said, this is a kind of an oddball shape for, for these bikes, so I'd kind of like to keep this one if I can, if I can get it to clean up half decent. So let's see what I can do with that. Well, there's quite a bit of old greasy muck, of course, up inside of that chain guard. There's always something on the inside of a chain guard that isn't pleasant to deal with, but uh, anyway, I got most of it up with a hacksaw blade, so I'll take it over to the parts washer now and see, uh, see what I can get that to look like after I get all that old nasty stuff off of there. Alrighty, I think we can all agree that that's a a pretty big improvement over what it was before I put it in the parts washer. Now that's about a half an hour's worth of scrubbing in the mess and the dirt there, but uh, I have to figure out a way of hiding this. I could fill it in with weld, I suppose, but then I'd have to paint the whole darn thing black and I don't really want to do that because I think the most of this is going to polish up this little spot right here that's behind the shock where nobody's going to see it so if I can get that just down to the metal and not have the uh, that rusty spot there so I think what I'm going to start off with is I'll just give that a general buffing up on the buffer and just see if I can get most of those little rust pickles out of there and all that kind of stuff and uh, this area here goes up inside the frame where you don't see it, so I'm not terribly concerned about that. But that could be part of the, uh, the patch job that I'm thinking about doing on that with a piece of stainless strip. Anyway, let me get that polished and see how well that comes up. If it comes up good, then I won't even, I won't even need to think about painting it. I'll just, you know, use it with the nice shiny chrome on it. So let me see what that turns out like. Okay, well you know what, it's not perfect, but it's damn near good, it's damn near perfect. There's a few little spots, like I say, this little area right here, but that's going to be hidden behind the shock absorber. There's a few little tiny pits up here, but nothing that really draws the eye, but this here, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that, so I'm going to get a little, a little strip of stainless steel, I think, uh, I have few little tricks I could do that that will at least hide that and not draw the eye. Like I'm not trying to do this as a you know as a, what do they call it a concourse restoration. I don't do that. I have in the past but most of my restorations are uh, are riders, you know, I want them to to look as they can as good as they can look but still retain some of the original parts without going too nuts. I mean, I don't want rusty, ugly stuff on there, but if something cleans up that nice, you know, you never see those little picks in that, uh, in the top edge of that, because they're going to be behind the shock anyway, and, uh, you know, it, you'd have to get within a foot to see that anyway, so, uh, anyway, 
So far, so good. I'll show you what I decide to do with that little hole right there. Okay. Well, I think how this happened is somehow this got a little bit of a dent in it here. And the chain got too loose. And, of course, the lowest spot in the chain guard is exactly where the chain's going to wear away at it. So, yeah, that rattled away in there until it wore a hole right through the right through the top of the chain guard. Now, there's a couple of ways I can fix this. I mean, and still save the finish. That's what I'm looking for. Right? I mean, I could weld it in or braze it in or something, but then that would that would just ruin the chrome and I'd have to paint it. So uh, what I could do now that I've uh, tapped that little dent out of there is I could fill this in with body fill because you need to have a good smooth surface to do this little trick, right? But, uh, you know, you would fill that in with body fill, smooth that all over, make sure there wasn't any bumps there. And then you see this here? Well, that's Red Green's answer to everything. That's your good old duct tape. This is the nice aluminum stuff, the expensive kind. You would just put that on there like that and fold it down. And, of course, you would have a good surface under here after you had smoothed it all down and that sort of thing then you just take something like your, your mother's polish or auto saw auto saw is a little coarser than this stuff but this really brings up aluminum really nicely and you would just polish that up now of course you wouldn't have any wrinkles there because like i said you'd have the uh you'd have the uh that body fill under there smoothing that all off but uh I mean, just, you know, just for a few seconds worth of polishing. That's what you'd get, right? And it's it's really hard to notice that from any distance because it almost looks like chrome. Now, the other way of doing this is probably what I'm going to do here. Although, I might try that. That does look pretty darn good. Hmm. I'll think about it. Anyway, what I plan on doing is taking this uh, piece of stainless steel strip here. This stuff polishes up really nicely. And just place it on there between the spot where the shock goes, where you won't see it because it's behind it. And just fasten that right to the top of that, uh, top of that chain guard like that and then polish that up and I don't think you would even notice where that seam is there because it's just polished chrome into polished aluminum or polished chrome into polished stainless and uh, and of course stainless will stay nice and shiny for a long long time and, and not like like the uh, the duct tape you do have to polish that up a couple of times a year if you want it to look that good but uh, anyway that's how I do it and we'll see what happens well, I thought I might try a combination of them two little tactics there. So instead of just making a small patch over that area there, I thought I would just run a, a patch from, from the shock back right to the back there and see how that comes out. So anyway, let me get this uh, backing off of this tape here. Try not to let it curl up on itself because if it sticks to itself, it's nasty. It's not any fun. Right, uh, okay. So, there's where the shock goes. There's the edge of that, of that level where it turns down. I'm going to start in the middle. I don't want any bubbles in this because it's a long piece. And if I've done a decent job of that body fill, which I kind of do because I'm not really a very good body man. Although I can, I can struggle my way through stuff. I'm getting, getting better with it over time. All right. All right, then. Let's see, I'm right there at the end of that uh, chain guard, so I'm just going to take my little handy dandy utility knife and just cut the edge of that off then I'm going to take 
piece of cloth and press that down really good. I want to make sure that the tape is well adhered to that fender. Fender. Chain guard. Sorry about that. And once you get that fastened to the chain guard like that, now see, I could have did a little bit better work to that, uh, to that body fill. Maybe I'll take this off and try it again later, but for now, this is just for demonstration purposes anyway, so, uh, anyway, that doesn't look too all fired bad. So let me just put the cover on this can of body fill. And yeah, you can put this stuff on the buffer. It adheres that well. So, let me just uh, move this stuff out of the way. Slip those safety glasses on since they're right here. Just away and we'll give that a little, uh, a little polish on the buffer. that just put the fold over there so you can have a better look and you can see where I've where I've stopped that tape right there with a little nice little round edge but like I said that's going to be up behind the uh, the shock so you won't see it but uh, I am pleased with that that's uh, there's a spot where the hole was underneath that Body fill it could have been a little bit smoother, but uh, I think I'm happy with that repair. You know, maybe in a little while I might take that off and uh, and just work on that body fill, smooth that out a little bit. Because what's underneath the surface really does matter when you're doing this stuff. Well, just like if you were chroming something, but uh, you know what? And you'd only need to polish that about maybe twice a year if you wanted to keep it looking like chrome like that. So, hey, that's one of the dirty little tricks I play when I'm, uh, when I'm restoring stuff. Now, the right thing to do, I suppose, would have been to fill that hole and send this off somewhere out west to get it chromed. I don't think we even have a chrome shop that's, uh, that's working here in Nova Scotia anymore. I think the nearest place is maybe Montreal. But uh, anyway, that's the cheapest chrome job you're ever going to get. So anyway, yeah, that, that chain guard is going to go back into service just like that. So anyway, that'll be the end of this little clip. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, you can share and, and uh, subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted.